So when you were on the show, mm -hmm. did you need the glasses and you didn't wear them? I didn't wear them. I had contact lenses. Oh, right. <laughs> what does it feel like watching that back? Because I, I watched back my X Factor time with the fondest of memories. But reading about you and, and, and learning that you ha were having a, a suffering anxiety and depression all the way through, mm -hmm. do you still do you get fond memories looking back, or is it really difficult? It's it's a mixed bag, really. I mean, watching that then just kind of made my heart race mm. because I remember how much um, how much was riding on it and how much I really wanted to do well and to succeed in it. Um, Stacey was saying earlier to us actually that it was your year was a massive year. You you were saying that you felt like it was one of the last biggest ones. That yeah, was it was it. huge, wasn't it? There, it? I mean, it was when like 15 or 20 million people were all watching at the same time. And yeah. I, I, I know what you say when you talk about how one minute you can go about your daily life and the next minute there are thousands of people literally following you around. And yeah. that we, we all lived in that house, do you remember, yeah. in North London? <laughs> and, you, and there's people, thousands of people outside the house and, and your year did seem particularly huge it was crazy and it was different that year as well because it was the first year gary barlow had done it yeah mm. so that brought a different audience to the show and showed a different and how side. did you cope with that attention particularly when you kind of go home um i didn't <laughs> that's kind of what led to uh, to me feeling really stressed and anxious a lot um i'm quite a loud bubbly outgoing person and i became uh just a bit numb by the whole situation. Um, but I've worked through it and I'm, I'm getting there. Yeah. Have you, have you had counselling to deal with it? Oh, there must have been a moment where you thought, I'm going to get help. What yeah. was it? Um, it was when I went through a really, really low, really low point when I kind of lost my management, I lost my record deal. Uh, I'd lost a member of my family all within a couple of days and it just became unbearable for me. Yeah. Um, and I remember still having to go on stage and do the whole smile and wave and perform yeah. and give your best. And um, it just felt a little bit empty for me and I knew it was time that I needed to, to talk to somebody and get some help. Mm. And was that the first time that you had gone through any sort of anxiety or depression? Or was it, do you feel that it was very much triggered by the fame? Or is it I something... believe so, yeah. Really? I believe so. I think sometimes it can always be harder if you are that bubbly, happy person all the time because there's no room sometimes for you to be anything else with people. Yeah. Did, did you find that? Absolutely. That's what it became, just smiling and putting the show on. And I became so good at making pain look good that I just kind of fell away behind the smile and the bubbliness. And you used hypnotherapy for a while, is that right? I did, and it worked for a short time. And uh, I did that mixed up with meditation and I had some more counselling and I talked and I learned that the more I could share, the easier things were. And that's such an important message, even more so for men, because I think that men find it so much more difficult. Thank you. Well, let's not forget as well that actually you have been so successful for the back of the show. You know, you starred in West End, theater, massive theatre productions, uh -huh. which was something that you said that you'd always been really passionate about. And do you, you must look back and think, you know what, it, uh, it was hard and it is sometimes can be unbearable for, for mm -hmm. people in those situations, but you did make the most of it and you did come out of it really in a really strong way. Absolutely, I worked really, really hard and I was so lucky to be in Kinky Boots, which was in the original cast in the West End, <laughs> which was so much fun and the best time. Yeah. For 13 months I was a drag queen, I <laughs> lived my life <laughs> to the best of my ability. It was incredible. Um, so yeah, I've been able to do so many things. X Factor was an incredible platform, as you know. You can, it can lead you to do some life-changing jobs. Uh, I mean, I got to travel America recently. I've just been in Asia doing work. I did the West End. I got my deal. It really has been life-changing for me. And, and we haven't got much time, so I just want you to just tell us a bit about... You've been working with Stonewall. Yes. Um, and this is around a blood donation. Yes. So just tell us, tell us quickly about your work. So, there. basically, we're trying to let people know that uh, we need to really push MSM blood donation because there is still some things that aren't quite right about gay men donating blood. Um, in 2011, the ban was originally lifted, obviously because of all the controversy from the 80s AIDS epidemic. Um, and that was lifted to 12 months in 2011. Last year, 2017, it was lifted to three months. And I still feel... And this is three months, you can't be sexually the, active for yes, three months before giving to, blood. Three months And this is only for, only for gay men. This is just men. gay men. So it's not for lesbian no, or any... No, two gay girls are fine. 
Um, but it's specifically gay men. We, we asked the um, Department of Health about this, because obviously we have to give them a, a right to reply. They said the blood service doesn't treat the LGBT community negatively. There are medical and scientific reasons for why there is a delayed donation period for certain individuals due to how blood-borne viruses can be detected. This has nothing to do with sexuality. Yeah. That's well, there. Well, we, we've comment. literally just got a few seconds until we have to say goodbye. So we, maybe we can talk about this again because it's important. Isn't it? Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah.